What is up all you worship peoples? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to play on an acoustic guitar, a brand new release by Passion called I've Witnessed It. We'll also be bringing the song into my most rigorous grading system at the end of the video. So stick around for that, but let's get into it. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If these videos are helping you, which is the goal, why don't you give them a like and maybe even subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. All right, so there are three things we'll be going over in this video to help you learn the song on an acoustic guitar. The first thing is key and capo placement. So the key that the song was originally recorded in, the key that I'll be playing it in, and how to use your capo to maybe play in some other keys that you would like to play in still using the same chord shapes that I'm gonna teach you in this video. The second thing is one strumming pattern that's gonna get you through this entire song, and I'll kind of break that pattern down for you, slow it down so that you can see what I'm doing. And the third and final thing are the chords. I'm gonna play through each section of this song individually, and as I do, I will have these handy little chord diagrams in the upper right-hand corner so that you can pause the video and see exactly what my finger placement is for every chord that I'm using. Don't forget that this video is segmented, which means that you can skip ahead to any part of the song that you would like to learn right now. All right, so this song was originally recorded in the key of D flat. It's kind of a crazy key, but for you on an acoustic guitar, that would mean putting your capo on fret number one and then playing in what's called the C position. If you don't know what the C position is or how to play in that, I have a video for that, so click up above or down below to learn more about that. Um, I am not going to stay in this key. The song is originally led by a female vocalist. I do not have a female's voice. I have a male's voice. Uh, so I definitely had to change the key for this song and kind of play around and see exactly what key would be good for my voice. I ended up with the key of G, which makes it really easy for me because I just take my capo off and play in that, uh, you know, all too familiar G worship leader position. <laughs> So I'm going to be in the key of G for this tutorial, and I'll be calling out the chord shapes for the key of G. If you wanted to still play in the original key, but use the shapes, the chord shapes that I'm going to teach you in this video, you could do that. Uh, you could put your capo on fret number six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then play in the G position. And that is the key of D flat right there. You know, pretty cool because uh, it, it sounds decent. I like to encourage people to not go anywhere past like fret number five or six. I think fret six is, is pretty doable. You can still produce a good amount of volume and energy from your acoustic guitar, uh, you know, still playing up this high. Um, so I think it works. And uh, the cool thing is that you could still use the same chord shapes that I'm gonna teach you in this video and be able to play in the original key of D flat. Now let's go down from there and I'll show you all the different keys that you could uh, play in as well, still using this, the same chord shapes that I'm gonna teach you in this video. So go down to fret number five, now you're in the key of C, still in that G position. Go down to fret number four, that's the key of B. Fret number three is the key of B flat or A sharp. Fret number two is the key of A. And fret number one is the key of A flat or G sharp. And of course, I won't even be needing a capo today <laughs> because I'll be playing in the open G position. All right, so let's break down this strumming pattern that I'll be using for this entire song. Um, this doesn't include the bridge. When we get to the bridge, that's gonna be a lot of down strokes, just kind of like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, but this is for all the other parts of the song. So let's look at this strumming pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. All right, let's slow that strumming pattern down now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. All right, 
right, this is verse number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. When I was lost and all alone, you present place where I found home. You were there and you're here right now. In every high and every low, you never left me without hope. You were good and you're good right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, into the chorus. All right, this is the first chorus. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I've witnessed your faithfulness. I've seen you breathe life within. So I'll pour out my praise again. You're worthy. God, you're worthy of all of it. Your promise is never failed. I've got stories on live. So I'll pour out my praise again You're worthy, God, you're worthy of all of it One, two, three, four, five, six Into verse number two All right, verse number two So one, two, three, four, five, six One, two, three, four You left the throne and chose the cross Lay down your life to rescue us. The Savior then, the Savior now. But even death was not the end. You conquered hell so I could live. Resurrecting men, resurrecting now. To the chorus right there. All right, the second chorus. This is a little bit more energy here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I've witnessed your faithfulness. I've seen you bring life within. So I'll pour out my praise again. You're worthy. God, you're worthy of all of it. Your promise is One, two, three, four, five, six, into the bridge. All right, this is bridge number one. Um, I'm gonna start off with the strumming pattern, the main one that I taught you, and I'm gonna switch to all downstrokes on the second part of this bridge. Um, let's do it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. You're good and I've witnessed it. You're strong and I've witnessed it. You're constant, I've witnessed it, and I'm confident, I'll see it again and again. You love and I've witnessed it, you heal and I've witnessed it, you save and I've witnessed it, and I'm confident, I'll see it again and again. And that chord is the first chord to the next chorus section. All right, then they go into another chorus. This is the third chorus at this point. Um, and for this third chorus, you can copy exactly what I taught you for the second chorus. It's the same exact thing, same strumming pattern and chords. The only difference is that after the final line of this chorus, they go straight into bridge number two. There's no break there before they start singing the next bridge section. So it's gonna sound like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. You're worthy, God, you're worthy of all of it. To the broken, I made this day. They go straight into bridge two there. All right, then we go into bridge number two. This is basically the ending of the song. 
Um, and she's kind of singing in the stratosphere again at this point. So sorry for your speakers being blown out um, as you're watching this video. <laughs> Just trying to hit these notes. So here we go. This is bridge number two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. To the broken, I've witnessed it. To the burning, I've witnessed it. To the lost, I will witness it. And I'll tell them this. I'll tell them what I witnessed. To my family, I've witnessed it. To my city, I've witnessed it. To the nations, I've witnessed it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we have learned this song and you know what that means. It's time to bring this song into my most rigorous grading system and see how it does. It's not really that rigorous, um, but it could receive up to three check marks. Um, the first check mark is to examine whether the song would sound nice not only in a full band context, which on the Passion album it sounds amazing, uh, but could you pull the song off with just one instrument? So if you're just on a piano or if you're just on an acoustic guitar, um, would it still sound nice? Would, could you still carry the same energy and the same vibe and get that same vibe across with just one instrument? Um, and I'm gonna say yes. I feel like the chords are solid, the melodies are solid, um, I feel like this song could hold its own uh, with very little instrumentation. Uh, just playing it on acoustic guitar, it already sounded nice. It almost, I almost wanted to play this song, you know, in a like a small group context or a smaller Bible study. I feel like you could definitely pull the song off. I do feel like you you would have to kind of tweak some of the melody work, like in the bridges when she really goes up to like the stratosphere and she's singing really high, because that might be kind of more awkward in like a really more intimate setting. So you would just kind of have to figure that out. Uh, but for the most part, I, uh, this song would work, I think, on just one instrument. So it definitely gets that check mark for me. Check mark number two, would this song be easy for you and your worship team to learn? So I'm talking about like, you know, a wide range of skill sets. A, you know, you, you got people that have been playing for different amounts of time. You know, you got this guy that's been playing for, you know, many years, and you got this guy that just recently picked up his instrument. So as a worship leader, you kind of have to take that into account when you're introducing a new song. Like, how long is it gonna take for us to learn this song? How challenging for my worship team is this song going to be? Um, and, you know, I feel like this song gets this check mark. I think that it would be pretty pretty easy to learn. The chords are very basic. I mean, you know, it, the key is D flat. If you're playing in the original key, that's a little challenging, but once you break down exactly what you're playing and the notes and the chords, it's very basic, very, very simple. Um, and, uh, you know, it's very intuitive. And I feel like it, it would be easy to catch on uh, for your vocalist, whoever's leading the song. And I feel like it'd be easy for the musicians as well. So uh, this song, I think, gets that check mark for me as well. Um, and check mark number three, is this song congregational? Could it fit nicely into your, you know, Sunday morning repertoire? Um, I think so. I think that this would be readily received by your congregation. Um, the melodies are very intuitive. The verse is like beautiful. I love the verses in this song. It's just a really beautiful melody that they've written for uh, those verses. And you know, the chorus as well. You really wanna sing the chorus. It's passionate, it's emotional, it's true. You know, it's, it's, it's a great, great chorus. Again, same note for the leading the song on one instrument check mark. You're gonna have to figure out, you know, what you're gonna do with those bridge melodies because you know in, in your particular context at your uh, Your congregation those melodies might not work because they are pretty high, you know, and you don't want to lose people You know, uh, they recorded that song in like an arena So they're expecting people to sing along and there's a lot of energy and the sound is really big And so it's easy to pull off those kinds of melodies in that environment But when you transfer the song to a very, you know, a smaller context, you know, more intimate vibe, you need to think about how you're going to work those melodies and, and what you're going to sing there. Um, and just to keep that in mind. Um, and, but that's my only note for that. So yeah, it gets that check mark for me, for me for sure. So there you have it, peoples. Um, I've witnessed it by Passion, a new release by them. It's a really great song, man. I, I was like, 
you know, not that like I'm surprised that they came out with a good song. They always have great songs, but I, I was a little surprised when I heard it because it's just like top notch. Like the, the melodies and the lyrics and even, um, you know, this girl that's singing it, what's her name? Uh, Melody Malone. Okay, I've heard her sing before. I thought it was somebody different. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she just, she k kills it. Like it's so, so good. This song sounds amazing, but a great, great song. I, it was so much fun to learn it in order to teach it to you guys. And I hope that this video does help you guys to do this song. If you're doing it, comment down below. I'd love to hear how it's going. Um, and I would love to hear your guys' ideas for any other songs that you would like me to teach you, any ways that I can help you guys to lead worship and to do ministry. Um, I just wanna be a resource. I wanna help you guys out. So comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and uh, just be keeping it crazy. All right, you're in the crazy club if you watch this video. Just keep that in mind. So be keeping it crazy wherever you guys find yourselves. I'll see you in the next video.